Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I don't know how you feel about this, but I can't believe it. I really can't. Christmas decorations are up, and it's only the first week of November. While with Terrestrial Radio, we didn't play anything Christmas until about Thanksgiving, and then we just cut loose and had a great time with it. Some art shops and hardware stores actually leaped into the Christmas decorations in mid-October because consumers know if you don't buy it now, it's not going to be there December 1st. So my question is, are we living so far into the future that digesting the beauty of fall in November is being covered up by holiday decorations. I mean, we rarely see anything that deals with Thanksgiving. Okay, we have a few banners out there, and rarely do we ever see any lights or some of those blow-up figures in the front yard. Probably because we connect Thanksgiving to food, lots of food, and family gatherings. Traveling from one home to the next, knowing the next stop is Christmas. Show me the lights. How dare we not have them before the November holiday? It's also a great escape. With Christmas decoration, the world feels safer. It's a time of gift giving, and we all gather in peace. Now, one thing you may not know about me is that I keep my Christmas tree up all year long because that Christmas tree offers me a place of peace. During the entire two-year COVID lockdown, that Christmas tree was on every single day because it offers peace. I also have a very special lamp in my house that was once owned by Ron and Carol up the street. They were one of the very first people to move into this neighborhood, and time has transitioned their life. But the one thing we wanted to do was see if we could get our hands on that lamp, because every night that we took a walk through the forest, Ron and Carol would burn that light. It was always on. And so we have transferred that light to our dining room that overlooks the forest. So if you pass my house, that light and Christmas tree will always be on. I'm not knocking the decorations being up early. I just don't want you to miss out on the beauty of fall. I love Christmas lights. I love the music outside with those blow up things when they're singing the songs over and over again. But there are so many colors in the trees and in the grass that I don't want you to get lost in something that is a long, long way away. Enjoy your presence of now. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.